Hello and welcome. I am your Saturday night. This is your Saturday night. And you know what time it is. It's time to do some painting. We have gotten out a sleeper in the grass. We're going to be doing some work on that today, which is fun and exciting. Or at least I think it's fun and exciting. Hopefully you do too. This is a pretty sizable painting that I've already put a lot of work into. And we're going to be uh, continuing on that. I mean, it's going to take many sessions for me to get to be what I could consider uh, a completed painting, a completed piece. You know, oftentimes that's just the way it is. You have to keep going. You have to keep painting. You don't just get to uh, jump on in and say, oh, I guess I'm done. That's not how that works. I wish it was how it worked. All right. I already have some paints ready. And I'm going to go ahead, get a brush, and just start working. I have my palette just slightly off to the side. I hope you are doing fantastic today, my friends. So, as I said, though, this is a, a sizable painting. Um, right now, fifth, sixth, this is either the fifth video or the sixth video where I've worked on this. There's a lot to be done, and I have a nice selection of paints here. We're doing this all in acrylic, and just have a whole bunch of paints that I already have out and, and mixed, and there's just some stuff to do. So, I am actually going to be starting... very lightly once I get this set. I hope you are doing fantastic today. Um, it is, of course, a beautiful day. At least, I think it's a beautiful day. just doing little tiny bits right now not a lot not a lot just a little we will of course be getting into more as we move along but right now it's just little tiny bits the grass and everything is going to be, you know, fully fleshed out later. Right now, there's just like this indication of where the grass and everything is going to be. But we do not yet have... all of our grass and all of our light fully done. No matter what you are up to, I hope that you are having a absolutely wonderful time. Feel free to share if you've uh, done anything interesting, anything truly fun or artistic recently uh, or if you just have any real fun projects going on I would love to hear about any projects that you have going on as I just start to add various areas of lighting and shade into spots. Getting things like the various lighting aspects of a person 
they they have lots of different um, issues that can come up. So when it comes to this particular painting, I've been going very slow and doing a lot to kind of make sure I'm getting the right aspects kind of kissed with light and shadow. Light hits us in all sorts of different ways and oftentimes it can be difficult to really see what those different lighting aspects are without doing a little bit of um, reflection and study as you go along. But I want kind of ver various lighting aspects going on here. And that's really what I'm working on at the moment, getting all of those um, lighting features. Making sure that we're highlighting what we need to highlight. I don't do many really big uh, portraits or uh, paintings of this style. So this is actually a really fun chance to get into that kind of um, space. And I realize that, you know, I'm going to end up going through a few different stages of this also. I mean, I already have. Uh, if you haven't seen the original videos in this wonderful series, I would certainly recommend that you check those out because we have come really far in regards to this piece and it's just going to get better as I go along. I mean, it already is much better, you know. Hopefully my, oh, there we go. But yes, uh, you know, I, I know that sometimes I don't talk as often as I should during these videos. And I know sometimes I talk too much during these videos. But right now, I'm just really getting into my groove, feeling out what I want to work on.
and seeing how I can make the most of all of my time. I keep doing bigger and more... Okay, I, I won't say bigger. I keep doing more interesting things to me that I think that are more interesting. And I want to continue being able to do those more interesting things. It's not always easy. You know, sometimes no matter what I want to work on, I have to kind of uh, understand my own limitations. But as an artist in general, I think I'm getting much better at certain aspects of my uh, art, of my craft. You know, adding these tiny little details, adding these various aspects of so many things really I, of course, welcome any questions that people might have in regards to uh, this piece, this concept, or anything else, opening myself up to um, really trying to just be available to all of you. I love the arts. I love the arts. I love art. Hopefully you can hear me all right. Um, I know that with my current microphone setup, I, I, I might end up having uh, a little bit of quiet going on here. But... I'll do my best. to make sure that everything is heard. Need to do a little quick mix here. Because some of my blues are just getting too dark. This is, in a lot of ways, kind of an experiment for me in style and also a chance to spread my wings more. Learn some new skills practice ones that I have that don't always get used as often as I think they should.
Also a chance to have a lot of fun. You know, and that's one big thing that I'm trying to do is have fun, continue to improve, just in general, work on myself. There's actually a lot, as far as working on myself, that I can do. going to end up with a variety of different things going on here. Now I have a Mars orange that I'm going to use to hit some of these spots up in the hair. I'm not going to be using a ton of it, just a little bit, and I'm also going to be using it in some of these skin zones where I need to hit a certain kind of light. And all in all, I think each one of these little additions makes, it makes a lot of difference. I was using so many um, browns and even a little bit of, uh, well, so I was using combinations of chestnut and raw umber and a few other things to start to create areas of differing uh, light. But I actually think that just coming in here with a little bit of this um, Mars orange in a few places will add some something else. It'll add something potentially more interesting to some of my areas of shadow. And allow me to kind of open up. Because I do want this to be warm and inviting. Which means that I need to be inviting you know i can't just i can't just say hey this is inviting no i have to make it inviting for you so that's just one of several things that i'm i'm working on here <laughs> Just kind of getting into the grooves, the grooves.
There's all sorts of little tiny details to the face that I want to really make sure we don't lose. They're going to be a bit dark for a moment, but they will lighten up as we move further along. Just these little, tiny things. Little, tiny things. When you talk about a person, a lot of what makes them up is just that. Little, tiny, tiny things. were a lot of little details and were a lot of small touches. You know, even something like that, just a tiny touch can go a very long way. Just re-emphasizing areas of the face and of the skin. I'm sure you'll notice like some of these changes are incredibly small but the further I get in this piece the more I want to make sure that I'm not going too hard on any particular thing. So even spaces where light hits, it's just a little touch, a little touch. You, know, you might have a A little bit of light hit here, a little bit of light hit there. Depending on A number of factors, you'll see little, little tiny indents and imperfections. And it's not my aim to get every one of those imperfections. But I do want to make sure I get enough of them. And also I want to make sure that 
you know, I'm hitting certain spaces. We have a we have a lot of spaces to hit. I can always put it that way. There's a lot of spaces to hit. And probably end up making a mess of a spot or two here, but... That's okay. You know, that's all right. Even that little bit of blending there to just bring out some of the hair. It's important. Where is my other round brush? There was a round brush I wanted, and I cannot find it. There it is. So, get a little bit of white. A little bit of nutmeg. Sleeper in the Grass uh, is definitely one of my more involved paintings. Not one of my most involved pieces of artwork, but definitely one of my more involved paintings. And there's something kind of wonderful about that. You know, this... Um, this amount of necessary time to achieve something. And on occasion, I wonder, like, how long is it going to take me to finish this piece? And then I remember something more important than how long it's going to take me, which is... How much am I enjoying what I'm doing? As long as I'm enjoying it, it shouldn't matter necessarily how long it's going to take. But it does. I mean, it does matter to me. Like, thinking about even something as simple as, oh, I'm taking far longer on this than I had originally planned to. Oh, no. I mean, you think about it, right? With lots of things. 
we have these considerations. But it doesn't change the uh, overall enjoyment. It's going to be a lot, a lot of details. I say that now, but I'm going to be fair. I actually don't know. Like, at the end of the day, I don't know how much uh, I'm going to get into, like, really detailing certain things. I could, I could say right now there's going to be a lot of details, and then maybe I'll get to a certain point and I'll be like, oh, that's good. We don't need more. Or maybe, just maybe, we'll get to a certain point and I'll be like, oh my goodness, I need to uh, work on this for like three more days, or three more hours. I can't even say right now, like how long. I might work on this. Though, as I move further along, I'm getting more and more satisfied with the direction I'm going in. For whatever that is worth. You know, there's a lot of aspects to this that I don't, I don't know. Like, will I just work on this painting for the next year? As it is, I've actually already been working on this for... Uh, conceivably a pretty long time. Or at least comparatively a really long time? It's one of those things. Each additional step forward leads me to questions. And questions, though important, are frustrating sometimes. Though I don't really need um, to have all of my grass done just yet. I do find it's important sometimes to just come in here and make sure that the grass is being addressed.
There's going to be a bunch of steps. I mean, we're already at a bunch of steps. But there's going to be a bunch more. A bunch more. I want to also kind of tap into some of the unrealism, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Because there are aspects of this that I can make look really unreal. Just like delightfully unreal. That's not how people end up looking, right? Well, I'm saying right, but I, I, I have no guarantee that you understand uh, the random things that are going through my head right now. Like, even just that that I've done adds more realism than it takes away. Or maybe not realism. Maybe realism is entirely the wrong word and I should stop using it. But, you know, we're getting somewhere really interesting. And I mean, that's, that's kind of really important. Like, even just what I've done there, I'm tacking on layers of more. More and more and more and more. And I'm not going to hit everything evenly with all the colors. I'm sure you already can figure that much out. Because if I do that, it's just not interesting anymore. Or at least it's just not as interesting. There's places that need to feel more. More fleshy, more vibrant.
It's one of those things also where it's clear that, like, a lot of her isn't getting hit evenly with all this light. Like, that's... She doesn't get the benefit of having an even light dispersal. We're going to go through a lot more steps, a lot more steps. But this is just one of those moments where it's like, okay, I got to, I have to make some progress in some certain ways. And that's going to happen right now. So even where we're at at the moment, you know, extraordinary? No. Good? We're on our way to good.
I can't, I'm not staying in focus, and I don't know why. I don't know why. I need, um, I need a new camera, amongst other things. Actually, let me be really fair on that. I don't just need a new camera. I think I need a new computer, too. But... Oh, I'll need to... Um, I'll need to greatly improve in many ways to make that happen. That's not me being pessimistic. It's... It, pessimistic just being kind of honest with myself like I need a lot to happen uh, in order to make that kind of uh, change for myself You know, half the projects I want to do, I know that unless I can really make some changes, I'm just, I will not get those projects. That's not going to happen, you know? Though today's changes have been pretty subtle, we're going on almost an hour of painting, so pretty soon I will call it a day. I have made an enormous amount of headway. with very little work. Well, actually, no, I, I, I won't put it that way. I've made an enormous amount of headway, and I, I have a lot more still to do, and it's going to take a lot of work.
So hopefully the next time I join you to do more of this, you know, we'll uh, we'll make a lot more progress. A lot more. Uh, but even with what I've done today, uh, this piece actually has uh, come along pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. So this is going to be yet another video for Sleeper in the Grass. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to call it a day for now with this particular piece. We've been painting for almost an hour. Um, and I've, I've been painting for many hours today. So I don't need an excuse. I shouldn't have had to make one. Either way, thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Be excellent. Uh, there should be a link somewhere nearby where you can find ways to support me by going to my website or, you know, if you're watching this uh, on YouTube or Twitch or otherwise, uh, hit that follow button, the subscribe, uh, make sure to click bells, ding things, so you can keep up with all of these art live streams. Take care. Be excellent. I will see you all again very soon, and thank you for joining me for another arty night. Bye, everybody.